You get a cat file for somebody else, and when you're looking at the feature tree, you're just completely confused about how things are fitting together. Hi everybody, my name is Lars Christensen, and this week's cat tip is quick and simple, but if more of us will get in this habit, the world will be a better place. And as always, it doesn't really matter what cat system you use. Take a look at this file. Not extremely complicated. If we zoom in on the feature tree, we will see that there is only a handful of features. It's like an extrusion one, filler one, extrusion two. But even if you're a cat ninja, don't you rather want to see this? That's right. Some of you probably already know that you can easily rename your feature names, but do you? Well, me either. But we should, and I'm committing to making this happen. Simply renaming the feature to something that makes sense, well, it makes everybody who is going to work with your CAD files life easy, and so why wouldn't you do it? If you're anything like me, you can't remember what you ate for dinner last night, uh, you probably will appreciate it when you look at the file again in six months or next week. And now where we at it, what about sketches? Of course, the value is needed, but most CAD systems you can actually also change the dimension name on top of the dimension value. So it suddenly gives you an option to put information into your sketches, such as, uh, well, what the dimension is for, and my favorite, what if that dimension is critical? As always, I love your comments. Any suggestions and tips, please make sure you put them down in the comment area. And if you have not already, we'll love if you hit that subscribe button there. That way you also make sure that you get next week's cat tip. So until next week, have a fantastic 3D week.